No basic zone. Welcome or welcome back to another Slay with Stushy. So today I'm bringing you guys a full drugstore spring makeup look. I've been wanting to bring you guys a full drugstore makeup look. So we are finally here and this one is appropriate for spring as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing me achieve this full drugstore look, if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned. Before we dive into today's beat, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up down below if you guys enjoy content like this. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel down below as well and be sure to also follow me on Instagram at the stitch life that being said let's go ahead and beat this face okay see so I know I have a bag full of stuff from the drugstore we're doing a full drugstore beat so let's go ahead and get right into it we're gonna start with the brows let me take out everything out of my bag first hold up Okay, so we are starting off with brows. I actually have my brow pencil. Items that I'm using today are items that I either already own in my collection, items that you guys recommended, or items that I've seen other YouTubers using. So the first product is actually the NYX Michael Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. And I'm honestly pretty sure I've used this in the past. I think I've used this in the past, but my sis Tyra actually loves this one, so I went ahead and picked it up. That is what the box looks like. How do I open this, girl? She is sealed tight to reduce theft. So this is what the pencil looks like. As you guys can see, do not mind my nails. I literally just peeled off my gel polish. But on one side is a spoolie and then on the other side is the pencil. So I'm gonna do my brows really quickly with the pencil and I'm actually gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 415 Honey to carve them out. I love this concealer. If you're not new here, you already know how I feel about this one. This is a goodie. This is not a new buy, but the pencil was actually, it's new for the video, but I think I've used it in the past. So brushing the brows up. I do have a full brow routine, nothing has changed. I'm just changing the pencil. So I'll link my full brow routine up above, but I'm gonna do these brows really quickly. So, brows. So, okay, I remember using this pencil. It is pretty precise. It's not as waxy as the other pencil that I use on a regular basis, which is the Benefit um, Goof Proof or Precisely My Brow. I don't mind it, but I feel like I had to do, I had to put in a little bit more work to get the product on my face. Um, but I don't mind it. I do like how the brows look. They look very natural. I feel like this color works perfectly with my hair and everything and it doesn't look too dramatic. So I like it. But the pencil is not waxy at all if that makes sense. So not bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. If you're new here, I always prime my skin after I do my brows. That's just my thing. And there's, I'm not going to change what I've been doing. So even if we are doing a drugstore look. So I actually went ahead and picked up the Milani Skin Quench hydrating primer with hyaluronic acid and coconut water. I think I saw my sis Tayera talk about this one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, seal off. I actually had no drugstore primer, so this is my first one. Cause I don't think I was really, actually I'm lying. I used to use an e.l.f. primer back in the day. But this feels really good, like really good. It almost feels like skincare. It's not super thick, but I could feel it hydrating my skin as I'm putting it on okay drugstore primer okay now this feels really good not gonna lie this has hyaluronic acid oh creamy lotion texture natural finish love that I like that this does provide me with a natural finish so I could use it with a hydrating foundation or a matte foundation so do note that but it claims to be hydrating and blurring but this feels really good do we have a new fave? Let's see how everything, you know, looks once we've completed the look. But the foundation that I'm using today is another drugstore product, and it's actually a black-owned product. This one is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. Well, it's called the Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation. Love that there's some sunscreen in here as well. And I actually used to use this back in the day, and my shade was hazelnut. Probably was the wrong shade. But this time around, I picked up the shade Carob, and I actually purchased this at Ulta. A lot of the products here can be found both at Ulta, Target, and some drugstores. I remember Black Opal being in the drugstore. I don't know if it's like, when I say drugstore, I mean like CVS, Walgreens, and stuff like that. I don't know if it's in a particular drugstore now or if it's only in Ulta, but I purchased this one in Ulta. And they didn't have any swatches for this, so hopefully this is my shade. But this is what the package looks like. And again, I got the shade Carob. 
So I'm actually gonna go ahead and swipe this on my skin. When I say I was obsessed with this, with this stick foundation back in the day, I was obsessed. Let's see, did I pick a good color? Hopefully I did because baby, we don't know. No, let's see. I don't work at Sephora for nothing, okay? No. <laughs> but honestly, I think I picked a pretty good color. So I'm going to do a few swipes on the face. I'm going for like a medium to full coverage look. Not bad. Obviously, my face is a little discolored, but I don't think that's a bad match. Why not? That's drugstore. Give me a second. Let me grab a brush. So I'm going in with the Morphe E63 brush. This, are we considering Ulta Drugstore? I feel like they sell drugstore products, so I can. Yeah, tell me. But I'm going in with the Morphe E63 brush. I love this brush. I'm just gonna use that to blend this out. In the past, I really liked using a sponge to blend this out, but let's see if anything, I'll just go in with the sponge after if I feel like we need more help. I kinda wanna wet my, wet my brush just a little bit. I have this LA Girl setting spray, fix, and set makeup for extended wear. I'm gonna spray my brush just a little bit to help with the process. What do y'all think? Y'all think I chose a pretty good color? I don't remember what the color before this one looked like. This one is a little red, but I feel like after I conceal and everything, we are gonna be good to go. I haven't used a stick foundation in years, like solely a stick foundation, years. And it honestly was probably this one because I'm like a liquid girl now or a powder girl. I don't even grab stick foundation. What do y'all think? Okay. I do have some dark spots here. I'm not pressed about them being covered. But if anything, I could always go in a little bit more in that area and apply a bit more of that foundation. Pat it in place. Okay, not bad. Not bad, what y'all think? What is she? So for underneath the eye, I'm actually gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 415 Honey. But I also went ahead and picked up the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. One of you guys recommended this concealer on Instagram when I asked y'all to drop seeing me a favorite drugstore product. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at The Stitch Life so that way you can participate if I need your help and you know, video ideas or makeup options. So this one is the shade Deep Caramel. This one is a little light. So I think I'm gonna use this atop of the L'Oreal Infallible just to get a brighter under eye. Apply my L'Oreal Full Wear first and then I'm gonna go in on top with the Hydrating Elf Concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. Put this underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the Hydrating Elf Concealer. I feel like I've used this in the past and I did not like it, but y'all seem to really love this. Um, so, ooh, okay, that's cute. <laughs> Wait a minute, maybe I spoke too fast. Maybe I used the wrong color, or maybe I used the wrong one, because I think there are two versions of this concealer. Maybe I used the wrong one. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the bridge. It feels really nice though, like upon applying, upon application. And I actually have this hydrating camo concealer that I purchased in the past. This one is the shade Rich Ebony. I'm gonna use this to do a little, a little contour. I see what I did there? I'm blending it out right away. cute because no one actually recommended any contour um, products so let me know if you guys have any cream contour faves from the drugstore let me know down below that I could get jiggy with that I could definitely get jiggy with that and I'm using the same brush to blend this out I could definitely get jiggy with that. So I even picked up a sponge to use today. I'm really trying to like use all drugstore products. I think almost everything here is drugstore. So I think we're doing good so far. But I picked up the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. This one right here. I've actually used this in the past. If you're not new here, you know I love this product. Or you know I love this tool. Um, this is what it looks like. It is a great sponge. Like for $6, like e.l.f. This sponge needs to be in a magazine if it's not already in a magazine as like one of the must-have drugstore tools so I'm gonna take it out the package and I actually need to wet it so I could start
start to blend out this concealer. So my sponge is damp. I do like to go in with a paper towel and just squeeze out whatever excess water might still be, you know, in the sponge because it can mess up your makeup if you don't get out like enough water. And I'm just gonna start to blend out the under eye. So let's see. I'm gonna bring it up onto my lid as well just because we're gonna go in with shadow today and I'm pretty excited. Um, I did purchase a new eyeshadow palette and honestly, I don't, need, I don't need any new eyeshadow palettes, but I purchased a new one because I didn't want to use my e.l.f. palette. Is that the only drugstore palette that I have? I'm not 100% sure, but that's one of my faves and I feel like I always use that. So I wanted to pick up something that one of you guys recommended. So we'll get into eyeshadow today as well. When I say full drugstore beat, I mean full drugstore beat. And I know I could be bougie at times. Like I'll use the same things and half of them are coming from Sephora and they could be expensive. And I need to get back to the roots because when I started doing makeup, I definitely was not using uh, high-end products. So we need to get back to the roots. And I feel like I want to share some of the drugstore products that I've tried that I like and that you guys like to the audience that doesn't really shop at you know, high-end stores, which is totally fine because when I say I'm finna slay with these drugstore products, I'm finna slay. And I wanna show you guys too that you don't have to use high-end products to achieve a flawless look. So here we are, boo, here we are, here we are. And that blended out really nicely. Obviously I still have more blending to do, but I'm gonna use my brush with the um, leftover foundation and contour to help us blend. And I'm just going over the edges because that's where you need to blend. And I'm just doing a quick, not dragging, but I'm like patting just to blend out the edges. And I'm lifting my brush as I do so as well. Just so everything looks seamless. <laughs> I'm very excited. And for me to have came off of a whole eight hour shift and um, I'm doing a full look. And I'm not going anywhere, baby. <laughs> That's a good thing. And it's a Monday, so love that for me as well. Face looks really good, if I do say so myself. So for drugstore powders, no one actually, hold up, I got a little itch. Uh, uh, uh. For drugstore powders, I'm sorry, no one actually recommended any, but I do, I did have one in my collection. And the one that I had is the CoverGirl True Blends Minerals Loose Mineral Powder. That's exactly what it's called. 600 banana. That's what it looks like. It is yellow, but I, ooh, girl, I didn't realize it all on. This is how it's packaged. So for some reason, I thought that there was a separator <laughs> and there was not. So I'm gonna use that to set everywhere that I've highlighted. Just going back over with my sponge, just in case anything creased. I think I've used this in the past and I think I enjoyed it. So let's see. Oh, oh, she is bright. I didn't need to go in with that much. Okay, so let me get some of that off and bring it up top. And I'm patting it in. Oh no, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just used a little bit too much in one spot, but it's okay. I know y'all are probably like, girl, that is light. But don't worry. It's all in the process. Once I set with a pressed powder, we're gonna be good to go. We'll dim down that brightness in a little bit. So I actually picked up a new blush. I do have a few drugstore blush products, but I was like, let me pick up something new because I actually had my eye on this blush and I didn't get it. So I was like, we're shopping for drugstore products. Let me go ahead and finally pick it up. And this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Caribbean. It is infused with argan oil and vitamin E, and we love when they incorporate skincare into our makeup products. So this is what it looks like. Do y'all see how pretty that blush is? Beautiful, beautiful. You're typically supposed to use your cream blushes when you have all your liquid products on before setting it with powder, but baby, these don't seem to budge or mess up whatever's underneath, so it's fine. Oh, she's so pretty. Dab into it and just a little bit because I remember these being hella pigmented. I have another shade. I'm just going, mmm, she is hella pretty. Oh, that is pretty. And I'm going in with the lightest hand because 
these are pigmented. You could build up the color if you'd like, and I'd recommend doing just that, like don't go in with a strong hand because then it's harder to take it away than it is to add on. A nice flush of color. Now I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer. This is the shade Warmth Chillure. And I'm using this fan brush. This is also from the drugstore, Eco Tools. And I'm just gonna go in and chisel out the cheeks of it. I'm just setting the cream products we've already put down. So I am gonna go in with a pressed powder to set my face but before I go in and finish the face I actually want to start on the eyes eyes are not going to be complicated but I actually want to go in and start on our eye look and I picked up the Milani gilded nude palette this one right here I went ahead and brought it in a bit more so you guys can see I feel like this would be a really pretty um everyday palette and this would be nice for a soft glam look as well gonna try to do something more spring appropriate because that's what I'm bringing y'all today a spring drugstore makeup look so I'm gonna peel this off my sister Tyra did recommend another gilded palette by Milani but it was out of stock in my store and I was like okay I'm just gonna have to pick it up another time oh they really seal this down no swatches in store please I don't know what colors I want to use but this color right here is calling my name I'm just gonna go in and do my thing and I'm gonna let y'all know what I used after Add to cart, that's a cute name. Enjoy the look of music. I'll be back with a finished eye look and I'll let you guys know what I put on the eyes. Had to stop really quickly because do y'all see this pigment that Milani is bringing out? Okay, drugstore eyeshadow. This is, I think, my first Milani eyeshadow palette. Wow, a look. These shimmers are performing. Okay, there is a bit of fallout, which is why I decided to wait to put my pressed powder down because I figured I'd have to dust something away. But if the shadows are performing, I don't mind the fallout. Wow. So I've used four shadows in this palette so far. I'm just adding a little bit more of this to my inner corner. I'll apply lashes off camera, but I want to just finish the eyes with you guys. Or finish the face with you guys. Real quick. So I use this Add to Cart shade right here for my transition shade. I use Keep Scrolling this shimmer right here, right on the lid. I use Hit Snooze in my lower lash line. And I used Detox, which is a beautiful shade in my inner corner. These were all pretty buttery, I'm not going to lie. There was a little bit of fallout, as I mentioned. So next time, just I'll probably do my eyes before doing my face. Really nice. I think we have a really cute look as well. When I put the lashes on and everything, it'll look, you know, it'll come together more. But let's jump back into the face. Bear with me. I'm going in with this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder in the shade Deep Fonts. And I'm actually going to just use my fluffy brush this brush is also from elf i'm doing good honestly <laughs> i had to bring it down real quick i was talking too fast honestly i didn't pick out brushes to use today but these just happen to all be drugstore and i love that for us so i'm going in with this and i'm just gonna pat this all over the face it'll help to bring back warmth into our skin and kind of tone down the brightness of our under eye as well voila magic and then, of course, I gotta put on a highlighter. There are a few popular drugstore highlighters, but the ones that I own are coming from Wet n Wild. I have these two right here. This one is called Precious Petals. This one is called Crown to My Canopy. I think I'm gonna go in with Precious Petals and apply that as my highlighter for the day. I have my, okay, so this brush is a Sephora brush. Don't come for me. Do I have any highlighter brushes? that are from the drugstore, I have a Morphe brush. 
Y'all gotta let me know if we're considering Morphe Drugstore or not, being that it's in Ulta and they sell drugstore products. I don't know. But I'm going in, ooh. But I'm going in with Precious Petals and she is stunning. Stunning. Apply a little bit to my brow bone. Cupid's bow. Before we get into the lips, I just want to tell you guys that I know we've been doing good so far. I think I could pass for not having one product, right? So I had the product, but I just couldn't find the product to film the video. It's somewhere. Um, and it is a lip liner. Well, it's actually a brow pencil that I've used for a lip liner, used as a lip liner for years. And I just could not seem to find it to film today's video. So I'm gonna use another lip pencil and we'll get into lips and the lips are coming from the drugstore, of course. But I'm just fixing my brows just a little bit because they got a little lost in the sauce. But baby, the face looks really good right now. My nose is holding up like she's doing good. So do wanna note that. Take a moment, take a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my lashes for my lash business. This is the style CEO from Capra NYC. And I also went ahead and applied a lip liner to my lips. So I did pick up a Milani lipstick that one of you guys recommended, Akela actually recommended this. Her YouTube is Jador Drew and her Instagram is also Jador Drew if you're watching Hey Sis. She recommended the Milani lipsticks. I think I picked up the right one, hopefully I did. I got the shade 160 Voyeur. So I'm gonna take it off. I don't know if this is gonna be too much for our look, but I also have a few Maybelline lippies. So we'll see, let me see what this one looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me see, I don't know, let's see. Let's see if anything will take it off, right? Let's see. Um, I don't remember what these lipsticks are called, but everything that I use today can be found in the description box. This is really pretty. Let me just show y'all real quick, up close. This is what the package looks like. But again, check the description box. Let's see. I'm scared. Bitch, that is bright. That is bright. I like it, but I don't know if I like it for this look. This is beautiful for the summer though. Let me see. I have like four lifter glosses. One of you guys also recommended these, but I already had them in a stash girl because I love them too. I feel like one of these would help to enhance. We're in this bronzy shade. Let's try this Maybelline lifter gloss. This is the shade number three, Moon. Should I just say F it? Let me see. Surprisingly enough, I do not hate it. It's actually kind of cute. I feel like I want to add a little bit of this one. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is the shade 10 Crystal. This is like a bronzy shade, let's see. That is really cute, y'all. Real cute, I have to admit. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna set my face with the LA Girl Setting Spray. This is the Fix and, fix and Set Makeup Spray. And I'm gonna press everything in. Okay, so y'all already know what time it is. It is time for me to not only do my edges, but change out of these clothes and give you guys the slow-mo. So I'll be right back, don't move. so this is the finished look and it is a look okay drugstore makeup okay drugstore makeup definitely comment down below right now and let me know what you guys think of the look i love it like i feel like overall i'm impressed by the shadows and the lip combo but the face is sitting the face is sitting and we use all drugstore products i feel like i gotta come up close to show you how the face like The face is sitting. I'm obsessed. 
but I hope you guys really, really enjoyed today's look. Definitely comment down below and let me know if you have any other drugstore products that you think that I should be picking up. I know a few of you guys shop solely in the drugstore and I wanna incorporate some more drugstore products into my look, so definitely comment down below some of your recommendations. Let me know again if you guys enjoyed today's video. I will definitely be bringing you guys more of these if you guys would like to see more videos dedicated to drugstore looks or drugstore products. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube YouTube channel down below as well share this video with a friend that might enjoy today's video and if you haven't already make sure you follow me on instagram at the stitch life and until the next upload i love you guys and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye guys honestly like that black opal foundation is now going to be put in rotation because it looks the f good if not in a rush too um ow <gasps> oh we'll get everything to look um all put together once but we'll get everything to look so for bronzer what did i say i was going to use for bronzer oh i'm gonna go in with this am i going to, yeah